So <clears throat> this is a piece of uh, plastic sheeting called marine board. Uh, this is used along the main coast. They use it for boat construction, uh, cabin, cabin interiors uh, construction. It's basically a, a stable um, polyethylene type plastic. It's easy to work with woodworking tools and what I've done is I've run it on a table saw and I made all of these longitudinal curves and grooves in it. And these are basically pathways to bleed the water off from this slip. And I'm going to put this inside this vacuum bag. So this is a vacuum bag that I got from a main supplier who supplies uh, the woodworking industry. So woodworkers use vacuum bag technology to, to bring uh, freeform shaped veneers down on a mold for gluing purposes. So this is an industrial quality, very heavy uh, plastic film that's designed for vacuum bagging. And it's, it's been fused weld around the outside edges. So I had this made up uh, to size, a particular size that I wanted. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to insert it, insert it inside the bag I can manage it. And this becomes a rigid part of the bag. And this has two places that you can uh, put the vacuum in on. You can either do it from here, from the back, or from the foot. If I had this bag to do again, uh, I wouldn't wouldn't really need this one because what I'm going to do after I get the slip in here is I'm going to I'm going to tip it up like that and then all the water will go running down to the low place. And uh, this is the the bag itself, and this bag is made out of the same material that uh, you would use for a filter press. So this is filter press. Uh, filter material that I simply had sewn up in a just a big long tube so it's a very simple uh, thing and very inexpensive so the water will go through here but the clay will not and this gets sealed at each end with with these things which I got from the vacuum bag supplier so this is a way to to fold over the ends and seal it off so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take one of these and the way this works is you roll it like so and then you snap you snap this over it. So you just wrap that around and then you just grip it tight. And what that does is that creates a, a tight seal. And in this case, we're going to put we're going to put the slip in, put the slip inside this bag, and then if we can manage it, uh, we're going to seal the other end, and then we're going to put the whole business inside this this cover. The only thing I haven't really figured out a good process for is how to get it in here without spilling it all over the floor. So the trick is it's got to be clamped up a little bit. Okay, this is a little complex here, but basically you want to clamp the bag or develop some other methods so that you, the bag is stationary and doesn't run away when you fill it with a slip because this slip is a little bit like trying to grab the, <laughs> some kind of slimy thing. It, the weight shifts, and so you got to, you got to 
you got to throttle it and hold it down someplace. So this is this is just sort of the only way I've come up with so far to do it. And I just want to make sure this is good and turned up. Be sure there's none stuck to the edge of the bucket. way to do this is to pick it up and pour it in there and I have to usually usually I'm the only one here in the shop so I figure out ways to do it with two hands it would be easier if you had somebody helping to hold this open so I just want to be sure that it's not gonna move because if this moves the slip will go everywhere and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just I'm gonna hold this with one hand and then I'm gonna transfer it in there. Now if you forgot to put the clamp on the other end as it was pouring in, it pour all out all over the floor. So as you see the weight in this case is actually resting on the floor. So, so far this has been successful. So I just tip that up and it slips pretty, pretty unctuous stuff. Looks like it'd be good to eat, but it's not. And then I use one of my handy dandy fiberglass boat worker piece of plastic and I get, get the excess off. do this neatly so it all stays inside the bag just good. So I'm just having to be careful that my hole stays open here.